Everybody, we are off uh, to another week, <laughs> and of course, so many people still working remotely, working from home. All of the kids are home from school. We have limited access to uh, stores and things that are open right now. And I know I've had a lot of friends and chatter online about people kind of gasping, "Ah, I didn't stock up on enough art supplies and things." You know, we didn't know we were going to be home this long. Well, I'm here to tell you that not being able to run out to the nearest store to get the supplies that you think you need uh, can actually be a blessing to your creativity. So I'm going to share with you uh, some of the fun ways we can use uh, everyday items that we all have lying around our house or uh, some of life's leftovers, I like to call them, and turn them into some really valuable art supplies and projects we can be using for some of the school lessons that we have going on at home as well. And today we're going to start by focusing on canvases, things we can be using as art canvases uh, in a variety of different ways and we're going to start one of the easiest places is by looking around your garage or your closet and see if you have some old paintings and things lying around that they just don't go with anything anymore maybe they're a little dinged up uh, and you can give them a fresh start so just look at what you have if it's a little um, slick You'll probably want to sand it to give it some nice tooth and then prime over the top of it with your primer or some gesso, a couple of coats, sand that down again and you have a great starting point for a new piece of art. It's probably already framed, which makes it great. You can also look at what you have on that painting and maybe there's part of it that you want to preserve. So you could tape that off and work that into whatever you're going to be coming on here uh, next with. But And I like to call that a collaborative <laughs> painting, but that's also a lot of fun to do. You can also stretch your own canvases uh, in a couple of different ways. One is by taking some of those old uh, picture frames uh, that you may have or frames off of some other artwork and then stretching some new canvas around that. If you have scraps of wood, you could build some of your own frames to use but you want to work with a fabric that is heavier weight so I love to repurpose uh, coffee bags are nice or burlap because it gives your uh, canvas some really nice texture you could repurpose uh, canvas drop cloths maybe some tablecloths uh, some upholstery fabric anything that's a little heavier in weight that's going to support you stretching it and stapling it to the back side of your frame and then once you have that stretched around there you're gonna prime it again using your primer or your gesso and you will have a beautiful new canvas uh, for everybody to work on. You could also be a little bit more primitive and rustic with the types of uh, frames that you're putting together. These are scraps of lath strips and you, they do not have to be square. You don't have to have mitered corners. You know, let the kids come up with some of the fun ways that they could frame things out or create their canvases because they're gonna come up with some great ideas as well. I know we've used game boards before, um, uh, that also works but see what, maybe they could make some small ones out of popsicle sticks and things that you have. But again, doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be square, and then take that uh, heavier weight fabric and just glue it or staple it to the back side. But these make for some interesting canvases as well. One of my favorite materials to work on for a canvas is simply scraps of wood. And you can use OSB, you could use plywood. What I like about working with wood panels is it's very durable and versatile. So you can use a lot of different mediums and techniques and things on your wood panels. Um, you can use different thicknesses, but I really like uh, the wood panel. Plus, you know, you can kind of come back, you get tired of something, or you can experiment. Uh, the kids could do an art project that's tied in with a school lesson. Maybe it's not something that you want to keep or are permanent. You could just sand that down or go right over the top of it, and you can get a lot of mileage out of some of these wooden panels. And I like to also, whatever, if the kids are learning, you know, their letters, their numbers, shapes, colors, uh, maybe they're, you know, they're reading, their math problems, turn whatever that, those lessons are into some sort of an art project because it kind of opens them up, uh, makes it a little bit more fun, more colorful, and they uh, can sometimes be even more engaged with what it is that they're trying to learn. And we can all benefit from that when we're trying to teach them uh, from home. You can also take uh, some of the wood 
scraps that you have and really build up on those canvases. This is a great project. Kids love this because you challenge yourself to work with whatever scraps you happen to have. Maybe you have little uh, trinket, you know, there's lots of things that um, you may have lying around that would work for this, but taking those additional scraps that would probably get thrown away and building up on that canvas with different shapes and designs that they see from those scraps and how you configure them. So we, again, working with what we had, what we saw, instead of trying to take those pieces and manipulate them or turn them into something specific, we actually just looked at what was laying on the floor. What could we assemble that into? We have a great character here. So this is gonna get tied into a story project and a reading assignment. And then we have this one here, kind of the same thing, but we saw a game of hangman. But you can really have a lot of fun and you are you can be surprised at how ingenious you are <laughs> when you challenge yourself to work with some of these everyday items that you have lying around the house for some art supplies or some of your kids school projects but I challenge you to remake some of the everyday items that you do have lying around the house utilize them and you will be well on your way to whatever creative adventure you choose